This is your What's up guys? Danny here with DIP Outdoors TV. Um, I was going through my news feed um, on YouTube here and a while ago I actually found this. I was like, what the hell? I mean Gabby Tito almost found two million dollars. Well, okay. Well, she almost found two million dollars. You know, let's watch it. You know, and I watched it and I was like, well, you know, it does make sense and it you know, with you know, Brian killing her and all and could this be why Brian killed her? It's because she almost found this $2 million that he was looking for. I mean, it does make sense. Uh, anything's possible. I mean, it could be a leak from what was actually in the notebook. It could have been revealed and had a, I mean, it could have had a leak onto, you know, to the media or somehow or another and somebody got a hold of them. Hold of the, uh, what the notebook actually said uh but i have heard that the parents do have the notebook now and it has been that's how they knew about the twenty thousand dollars deals in the bank that he had but uh y'all leave a comment down below and let me know what y'all think about this this video i'm fixing to do this little reaction on here i mean it makes very well good sense but there's some things in there that don't make sense but most of it makes sense so y'all leave a comment now let me know what y'all think and uh leave a timestamp of like where y'all where y'all you know where y'all thought the most interest was and we'll you know we'll try to, i try to go live or something and we'll discuss it you know so here we go let's watch, get, let's give it a watch origin news tonight Finn's treasure that, that, that he was actually, that Brian was looking for. Gabby Petito was born and raised in Blue Point, New York. Such a pretty girl died at a young age. In 2013, she and her stepbrothers appeared in a music video to raise awareness about gun violence after the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. She graduated in 2017 from Bayport Blue Point High School in Bayport, New York, where she met Brian Christopher Laundrie. From September 2017 to January 2019, she lived in Carolina Beach, North Carolina, and worked as a hostess and in the kitchen of a restaurant in Wilmington, North Carolina. She applied to Cape Fear Community College, but did not attend. In March 2019, she began dating... I don't know why she didn't attend. Could, could it be because of laundry? In late 2019 and early 2020, they drove from New York to California on a road trip in a Nissan Sentra, visiting Bedford, Texas. Pikes Peak, so I didn't know nothing about the Nissan Central. Yosemite National Park, Pismo Beach, California, and Santa Monica, California. At that time, she and Laundry worked at Publix in Northport. She is a pharmacy technician and Laundry in the grocery department, but they quit at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. In March 2020, she celebrated her 21st birthday in Nokomis, Florida. She and Laundry visited Soap Creek in June 2020 and got engaged in July 2020. In December 2020, she purchased a 2012 Ford Transit Connect van converted to a camper in which to take their next cross-country trip. She then worked 50 hours per week at Taco Bell and as a nutritionist, while Laundry hey, worked at an organic She worked too hard for what she had. She documented her life and, and travels on kill social her. media sites including YouTube and Instagram, where she described her interests as art, yoga, and veggies little box it's about the size of a happy meal it's filled with over a million dollars or the fbi says he was last seen at the wells fargo bank on state street in murray he's said to have been wearing a black detroit red all right wells fargo bank was last seen at the wells fargo bank in murray okay when all this when he was supposedly had killed himself quote quote he was last seen leaving his house in Newport, I mean Northport. Okay. In Murray. Murray what? Where's Murray? Something to think about. Let's watch. Let's continue watching. Red Wings hat. Dark frame glasses, a gray neck gaiter, black gloves, and a dark suit coat with a light shirt underneath. You see some of those different images of him. It's believed that he cash out entire chips to win first Ben's treasure by using Monty Hall game theory or strike of luck. He was very close to finding Forrest Ben's two million dollar treasure. By and that does look like him destiny. too. Watch, watch how he walks. That, that, that's him right there. Treasure. 
It was a that's, medical that's student. That's got to be him. Found the treasure in Wyoming. Jack Stuart. A medical student. Was Brian a gambler? The treasure in the lawsuit, Rappos claims that Finn lied and kept the treasure for himself. The treasure Finn, was in a bronze Finn, chest Finn. filled with gold and jewels. Brian okay. Laundry blames Gabby Petito for wasting money on the long road trip. Wasting course, money. His treasure hunt is over. He said he doesn't have money to pay for food, hotel, toll pay, a bottle of water. I'm done paying for everything. He told. Wasting money. Okay. Is this could this be why the twenty thousand dollars never left his bank account? And could this be why he actually used her credit card and spent over a thousand dollars getting back home to Northport? Cause he was a cheap. He was cheap, too cheap to pay for his own gas. You just killed his girl. Come on. And you don't spend her money that she worked hard for, and you ain't did a damn thing in your life. Spend her hard work money. Kill her. Spend her hard earned money. Then drive back to Northport on her money. Then turn around and get a credit card charge for. Yeah, I don't blame you for getting a credit card charge, Brian Laundry. I hope you watch this. But, uh, yeah. Cheapskate bitch. Brian Laundry, I hate you, buddy. Come on to Mobile. I got you. Told her to get back inside the van. Gabby Petito refuses to believe Forrest Fenn's treasure is over. She wants him to continue to search. That's, 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 why, that's when things went south with him. Treasure somewhere in Wyoming. Brian Laundry gets frustrated that's what, with her. He told her this needs to stop. She begged him to make one last search. Gabby started to cry. He drives back to Jackson Hole and Moonflower for lunch break. Turner and Kylan Schulte were found shot to death at a campground near Moab. A family member says the couple complained about a guy who was making them uncomfortable in their campsite earlier. Schulte worked at a community co-op in Moab which is near where Gabby Petito and her fiance, Brian Laundry got into a fight last month. I want everyone, I want the That's hikers, the bikers, the jeepers, I want everyone to think and, and, and double check your dash cam and remember the girls were missing on the 13th of August and found on the 18th of August. So let's focus on the mountain during those times. On August 12, 2021, a witness called the 911 emergency response phone line claiming that a couple, later identified as Laundry and Petito, was fighting in front of the Moonflower Community Cooperative in Moab, Utah. The caller told the dispatcher they saw a man slap a woman, and after I've heard about this one. And down I think I read some paperwork the man on hit it the before. woman again, and then drove off. Another witness described the incident in a statement to police saying that Petito and Laundry were talking aggressively, and that Petito was punching him in the arm. The witness said it looked like Laundry was trying to leave Petito and take her phone with him before Petito eventually climbed into the driver's seat, moved over into the passenger seat, and asked why do you have to be so mean, and then they drove yeah, I do have the paperwork on Police that. identified I'm the van near the entrance to Arches National Park it. and conducted a traffic stop. They found Petito crying heavily in the passenger seat where she told officers, captured on police body camera footage. They just drove off. They're going down Main Street. They made a, uh, I never heard a right it. onto Main Street from Moonflower. Now what were they doing? But, um, what'd you say? What were they doing? Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her? Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off. Okay, you said uh, it's a white van? Let's have the van tomorrow. I, I want to be separated then. Do you have anxiety? Yeah, this post came from the second cop. Please. Thank you. No, the second cop was the female. I'm sorry. But that, that, that footage is now being released. Okay, the, the very best thing I can do is call my supervisor and see if I'm missing something here. 25th. They scroll through her social media accounts. Here's a more zoomed in version. Analyzing photos in Google Maps, an army of digital detectives on the case of Gabby Petito, whose story has captivated the internet. I personally have tried to really focus on sharing facts and sharing things that were being talked about without Between them. It was more so Gabby abruptly in the restaurant crying and Brian was um, just evidently really upset, pissed off. I would say, I would say Gabby was upset. He was angry and he was um, just being very temperamental towards the restaurant staff. 
Brian Laundrie made the last road trip to Bridger Teton National Forest, Wyoming, to find a forest fan's treasure. It's Jack's Jack. He hasn't revealed where he found forest fan's treasure. It's believed he found fan's treasure by the strike of luck without reading the poem. He took the treasure and opened on June 6, 2020. The forest fan's poem reads, From there it's no place for the meek, the end is drawing ever nigh. There will be no paddle up your creek, just heavy loads and water high. Dachi added it. Brian yelled at her. Where is the treasure? It's not there. He said. She started to cry. He went temper tantrum and strangled Gabby Petito to death. We actually... All right. Brian found the treasure when he left Gabby behind. When they, the hitchhikers found him. Okay. Could this, this, could this, this possibly could be where that $20,000 came from. But he was left. He was last seen leaving a Wells Fargo bank. His money was in a Bank of America. So there's what there's a missing link right there. Could Lon, could Brian have two accounts? It very well could be possible. Gabby had uh what was it Capital One, I believe. Anyways, let's finish watching. Actually, weren't able to find any sites, and we ended up driving back through, saw it again, but here it is on the left. Not just. So. And I slowed it down so you can possibly see it a little bit better. But kind of freaky for a late Saturday evening, but we just kind of had a brain fart. Oh my God, there's that. Filled with gold and jewels and worth an estimated $2 million, the treasure and the hunt developed what was a cult like following, and several people died in search of Ben's treasure. Gabby Petito died. Miranda Baker claimed she gave Laundry a lift in her Jeep. Jalabek was in the national park as she attended Mass at a church, around 1.2 miles from the dam. She said she spotted Laundry was walking backward and holding his thumb out before she picked him up. A Bible fell on Brian's lap, Jalabek said, after she took a sharp turn. He picked it up and put it back on the dashboard, she added. Laundry then reportedly asked her to drop him off at the Spread Creek camping ground, where Gabby's body was later found. But as they approached the entrance, he reportedly freaked out and tried to get out the moving car, according to Jalabek. Since her alleged encounter, Jalabek admitted that she cannot explain why she went to church and picked up a hitchhiker. What the dam looked like, we dropped him off at the turnout because this is going south, if you're going like this. He then said, I'm going to get out, I'm going to hitchhike, find a different ride. Um, he said he was going to go across to the parking lot over here, which was filled with a bunch of people. Again, this is on August 29th at 6.09. We hereby find the cause and manner of death to be the cause death by strangulation. Laundry killed himself in the Carlton. Earth. I don't believe he's dead. Remains were found just over a month ago. Although he loves Gabby Petito, but he, he loved her. Why the hell did he kill her? Hunt and Casino. He lost everything and including Gabby Petito. The author Forrest Fenn has passed away at the age of 90. You may remember him as the iconic creator of the 10 year treasure hunt where Fenn filled a bronze chest with gold, jewels, and other valuables worth roughly. Just like you, just like you. I mean, this story does make sense. It does fill in the line, I mean, the gaps in the timeline. It, the Schultz and uh, the, the two girls, the two newlywed couple, the, the, yeah, the newlywed couple. It does make sense with them too. I mean, maybe they told Brian, "Hey, look, look, look you ain't gonna find it. You're just chasing a wild goose, man." You know, I mean, maybe that's what they said. He didn't like what they had to say, and pow, 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 pow. You know, he shot him with the gun. Cause it, nobody says it. Everybody says that his gun was linked. I mean, it, it's quote quote tied to their murder. And maybe that's maybe he told his parents, "Hey, look, I killed two, two. I mean, I don't know where Gabby is." He told me that's why he said, "I don't know where Gabby is." But hey, look, I had I killed two girls. I killed I killed I killed somebody accident. I killed somebody in Moab. And maybe they said, "Well, hey, let's go on a hiking trip." In the DeSoto, you throw away that gun. You throw away now, you know. 
and you know and by the faith of God you know maybe somebody that fisherman found it and now that it's linked to the murder of them maybe that's why Brian is on this run because yeah I mean I mean it makes sense it all makes sense it's starting to feel it fills in the gaps but parts of it does make sense and parts of it doesn't but he was after Forrest this whole road trip seems like it was after the Forrest Finn's treasure and it things what didn't go his way at the end and he had he said look I gotta I gotta I gotta do something Gabby was right hey look you ain't gonna find it you know maybe somebody else done found it and he didn't like what she had to say and she he's like he, he strangled her to death but I have heard rumors that Bryant is with Gabby's friend Rose Davis and she was actually in on it of killing her she turned on Gabby and started being friends with Brian and helped kill her and I also heard that Cassie was not in Orlando at the time either because people said that they spotted the Mustang at the Teton Park and Cassie was there somebody says Cassie actually helped too see I don't know I ain't heard I me mean, I've only heard that once or twice I don't know how true that is but uh now let me know what y'all think down there in these comments because uh I think we I think we might be onto something here and this when I was first viewed this this thing had this thing's on this video has been out for about two weeks now week and a half and it only has like 938 views so y'all get this video out there this reaction video y'all share it y'all let y'all let the world know about this video all right uh I'll see if I can find some uh that place report I think I have a copy of it I'm not for sure of where they was fighting in the road it's very hard to read because the guy has like super sloppy handwriting but uh I'll see if I can find that place report and if I can I'll link it down to I'll link it you know I'll link it to this video and uh to me Brian did not kill himself Brian is alive he's doing well and if Brian Laundry, if you happen to run across this video, you come to Mobile, buddy. You don't, you don't have a fight, bro. I don't care if you bring a gun to a knife fight. You're going to lose. So, come on with it. But until then, this is Danny with DIP Outdoors TV. Peace. Love y'all.